Okay, so when I first started off wanting to be a content creator, I made goals and then I made action steps to get to these goals. So over the past few years, I've been working as hard as I can to get to those goals, which in return would get me to where I thought being a full-time content creator would look like. Well, I may have gotten to where I wanted to be and I have to figure out how to do something else now. So I've been running the iOS 15 beta for over a month now. What's up guys, today we're out on the beautiful Caribbean Sea and we're gonna be putting the iPhone 13 Pro Max with ProRes up against the Sony FX3. Yo, this is my first time ever driving a Tesla and I'm really nervous right now. So recently Zayun released this little guy, the Smooth 5. So today I am in the lovely town of Brinkley, Arkansas where I was born and raised. Okay, so I'm making this video with hopes that I am not the only person out there and that you watching this video may be in a similar boat as I am or on the journey to the path that I've been walking on. And that is actually becoming a full-time content creator, whether that's you actually filming yourself or filming others for a living. So multiple years back now, whenever I sat down at a coffee shop and wrote out what I wanted my dream job to be in the future, it was a YouTuber. And I remember thinking exactly what that look like and for me honestly what that looked like is someone like Peter McKinnon someone who's having fun videoing getting sponsored by all these huge brands who's able to quit their jobs and walk away and be a full-time content creator and guys let me tell you something I tried that it didn't work and I went broke really quick <laughs> so what I found out is that even though I had the same goal as some of these big creators like Peter McKinnon the road that I would walk would be a lot different than theirs and by no stretch of the imagination do I think that I've made it in this atmosphere. But I have, however, hit this wall to where when I think about what I need, more gear that I could purchase as a content creator, there's literally nothing else that I can think of that I don't already have. So do I have every single thing that I want when it comes to content creation? The answer is no, but all of the things that I do want are accessories to the main things that I already own. For example, do I want more lenses for my cameras? Yes. Do I need another camera body? No, I have so many different cameras. I have so many different lenses. Do I need a new computer? No, I have literally one of the fastest computers in the world. So I'm not saying this to brag. I'm saying this because I literally have ran into a wall where technology is not gonna improve my happiness as a content creator anymore, or at least for now anyways. Okay, so what does that actually mean for me? What does that mean for social violence? And what does that mean for you as a viewer who comes to this channel to actually take a look at some of the cool new tech? Okay, so first, that means that I'm not going to be reviewing every single thing these brands want to send me. I'm going to be slowing down the product reviews and actually reviewing things that I actually think are interesting. So, I'm going to be a lot more particular in the things that I accept and also in the gear that I reach out for when I'm communicating with these different brands. Okay, so moving on to the next thing. I'm really gonna be working on expanding this year. That means that I'm actually gonna be trying to establish a team where I don't have to do everything myself so that I can actually grow this channel and grow these different businesses that I have to help you as content creators grow in your skill sets. Okay, so what do I mean? Well, one, I've been editing all my own content on this channel for years. And while I do have a process worked out that is very efficient, it still takes me a very long time to get these videos done where I could be putting more time and attention to either contacting brands or working in my other businesses. Therefore, over the next few months, I will be looking into hiring a editor for this channel. Okay, so moving on to the last thing, and that is structure. I'm gonna be working really, really hard to take all the things that I've learned to be successful on this channel, on other different channels that I've helped create that you guys have no idea about, and also within the other businesses that I'm a part of now, and actually putting in that into some type of course or digital asset for you to have. The goal here on Social Vibes is to help you as a content creator grow. And so anything that I can do to bring value to you and help you make more money and help you go on more awesome projects, then that is what I wanna do. And so I think that this is gonna be a huge step to helping you guys get there. So yeah, I think I found what's next for me in 2023. And that's actually growing and building a team. And I'm so excited that you're gonna be with me along the ride. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, 
seriously please do that because i think that this year is going to be a lot of growth for me i think we're definitely going to be hitting 10k subs this year and i'm excited to see that number switch over so that we can actually reach a broader audience and build a community here on this channel so with that being said if you guys are interested in my new 2023 home studio that i'm actually filming in right now then go ahead and check out this video right over here